Hey YouTube, I figured I'd take a break from the uh, lathe and uh, show you some other things in the shop tonight. Uh, I will show you one other thing. I, I just put the apron on, just uh, dry fitted it, but I'll do a video um, of that later, the assembly. Okay, yeah, I just want to show you here some parts. Uh, some of them are cleaned up, some are not cleaned up. Um, but anyway, oh, just real quick, this was the control panel. When I received the lathe, the uh, factory control panel was totally missing. And this was actually uh, bolted on the front here, right like this. And the AC wires were tied to the switch here and they had, sorry, AC wires were tied here into the, the motor. And I, I think that's what fried it and it's caused it to smoke. But uh, anyway, uh, if you were thinking of doing this, uh, don't because that's not an AC motor. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the fun stuff. Uh, I, I have a lathe. I like to work on uh, steam engines, which seems to go hand in hand. I want to show you my boiler here. Uh, this is a pressure cooker. It's kind of been modified. I've got a shutoff valve and a gauge. Uh, it does have a safety, which I definitely recommend. I preheated the water for this uh, video, so we don't have to wait. It's going to be pretty boring to have eight minutes of, okay, we're waiting for water to boil. Uh, the hose here I'm using, this is... Um, for nitro RC cars, it's kind of like surgical tubing. It's really good stuff and it holds up to the heat real well. Um, I'm using a standard uh, propane barbecue grill. It's got a, uh, um, a regulator here so I can regulate my pressure. You can see I'm running at 10 PSI, but with this valve I can change the pressure. Um, the uh, pressure cooker is full of water. And uh, I've got the cooktop here. This cooktop was purchased from Harbor Freight. 50 bucks, which I think is a great deal. Uh, it works really good. There you go. Um, I actually use this cooktop to uh, deep fry a turkey. Which, believe it or not, actually worked really good. Uh, if you're thinking about doing that, I definitely recommend going to YouTube, look at all the safety things. There was quite a few fires and a lot of damage to uh, people's property. And then here is a uh, Stewart S50. Uh, mill engine, style engine, it, it runs about 20 p uh, 12 PSI on my gauge. Pretty nice engine. Uh, uh, you know, this is how I received it, it wor in a working, operating order. Um, if you look on, on the shaft here, you can see it's a little bit out of round. And my hope here is to go ahead and uh, get this all straightened out, repaint it, uh, maybe change the paint schemes. Uh, it does come with this really cool uh, glow valve uh, that actually works and very open the glow valve there. Uh, you can see the vibration caused by the outer round flywheel there. But uh, if I close the glow valve down here, you can see that it actually works pretty good. I uh, always admired Stuart, Stuart steam engines. Uh, they manufacture them in England, the castings they do. I think you can buy them machined or unmachined. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to take a break again from the lathe and uh, show you what some of the other things that I do. All right, YouTube, uh, have a good evening. Thanks for watching.